How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boy Lai Hobby Time. Today I'm going to be building a diorama featuring this clone trooper from Bondi. It comes with a few different options. We are going to be going with the Phase 2 clone trooper helmet. He's going to be painted like the 501st. This particular scene from Revenge of the Sith is something I have wanted to recreate in diorama form for quite a while now. But these clone troopers sets were pretty much impossible to find. They were sold out almost everywhere or way too expensive. So when Big Bad Toy Store finally had their restock, I jumped right on it. I probably should have bought multiple. I probably will buy more if there are any left. Uh, and at this point, I did think he looked <laughs> like that guy from Buster Scruggs. After I had completed the model, I got a good look at it and began taking it apart for painting. There were only a few pieces of armor that needed paint, including the chest plate and the helmet. I used a photo reference to make sure I had the shape of the colors correct, and I used some masking tape to get some nice clean lines. I then gave everything a nice coat of royal blue with the airbrush. When everything was dry, I carefully removed the mask. It's always super satisfying to see those clean lines appear. I had to be a little bit more careful with the helmet because I had some tape inside the visor. Didn't want to scratch that plastic in there. Once all the masking tape was off, I gave everything a clear coat of matte varnish. I then reassembled the clone trooper with his nice new 501st armor, added some decals and some weathering. I couldn't find Yoda in this pose anywhere, so I made my own model in Forger. And then I printed it out. For the lightsaber, I'm using one of these LED filaments. I drilled a hole all the way through the chest to make sure that Yoda's grip and the lightsaber were aligned. I then used the Dremel to carve a path for the wires all the way down from the filament that's in his back down through his foot, just like I did with the Boba Fett diorama. Then tested my circuit to make sure everything was working and soldered the filament in place. This is a three volt one that runs right off of a coin battery. I'll put a link below if you're curious about it. Then gave the filament a coat of transparent green. I then moved on to painting Yoda. The color I went with for his skin looks a lot more neon green in the camera than it does in person. I don't know why that happened, but I did go over it with some khaki 
uh, to help bring down the saturation a little bit. The skin looks way more olive green in person. For Yoda's outer robes, I used some khaki colored fabric. And I cut that out into the general shape of a robe. I looked up a robe template online. And uh, lo and behold, when I folded it over, it turned into a robe. I didn't uh, try stitching it. I just used some hot glue. I don't know if that's cheating or not, but I was happy with the result. Glued Yoda in place with a two-part epoxy. I also painted the wires behind the legs to help hide those. I also realized that I had missed the fake Adidas stripes on his legs, so I went back and painted those off camera. Then I moved on to the base. Decided I wanted to run this off of USB, so I added the correct resistor so I didn't fry the filament. And I painted the base. To help anchor the clone in place, I cut out some styrene rods. I drilled some holes in the bottom of his feet, and I drilled some holes in the base. Then I glued the rods that were in his feet into the base. Last thing to do was to connect my wires. Made sure to have the heat shrink on before doing that. And I called it good. That is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great week. I will see you all next time.